With the release of OJS 3.4, there are a number of new features and improvements users can look forward to seeing. This video will highlight a handful of these features, improvements, and how to use them. Many of the features highlighted in this video can also be found in OMP and OPS. This video is intended for anyone interested in upgrading their journal or using this version of OJS for the first time. One of the main differences authors will see in OJS 3.4 is the redesigned submission wizard. The changes were made to meet accessibility requirements and to provide clear indication of a step-by-step -step process in comparison to the tabular format available in older versions of OJS. The new submission wizard includes the following functions. HTML styling in the manuscript title includes bold, italic, underline, superscript, and subscript. Autosave and the option to save for later. Authors can also review all details before completing their submission. In addition to this, editors will have more options to customize the text and fields that appear for authors at the submission stage. The editable text can be configured by going to Workflow, Submission, Author Guidance. OGES 3.4 also gives editors the option to require certain submission file types, this can be configured by going to Workflow, Submission, and then Components. They can also enable and disable categories from appearing and being completed by the authors during the submission. These can be configured by going to Workflow, Submission, Metadata. Emails have also been improved in OGS 3.4 to include more configurations for notification. Many of the default templates have also been rewritten with improved tone and to be more informative. To access the email templates and these configuration options, go to Workflow, then Emails. To view the updated email templates, click Add and Edit Templates. To view these new configuration, scroll down for your submission notification, editorial decision, and editorial level notices. A glossary of the supported email variables that can be used on email notifications such as editorial decision and stage-specific email templates and now discussion templates is available when creating or editing templates. Templates for automated system emails such as reminders are now accessible and editable. There is also the option to add templates to be used for discussions or notifications at specific stages of the workflow. In OJS 3.4, editors have the option of receiving a weekly report of their outstanding task. Editors can configure whether they receive these notifications by going on their profile notification. The ability to customize the frequency of these notifications may be offered in a future release of OJS. The editorial reminder would include a summary of outstanding task. For example, when a decision is needed, reviews are overdue, or when files have been resubmitted. Finally, the generic email notification users receive when a new activity has been added has been removed. Email notifications will now include the body of the discussion. As of OJS 3.4.0, support for email and discussion attachment is not supported. This means users will need to go to the discussion thread to view the attachment. Support for this function is scheduled for an upcoming minor release of OJS 3.4. For updates on this feature, please see GitHub. DOI management has been rehauled in OJS 3.4. It is now a core function within OJS. It includes the option for automatic DOI assignment, which was not available in 3.2 and 3.3. .3. The DOI setup can now be found under your Distribution tab. This is where you'll go to configure and input DOI-related settings, including your prefix, format, at which point within your workflow DOI should be assigned, and whether they should be assigned automatically. You can also indicate which registration agency you will be using for your DOI registration. Please note, only one registration agency plugin can be active at a time. The default pattern assigned in OJS will now use a unique 8 character suffix using the modified Crawford Base 32 method. For those using a custom pattern prior to upgrading to OJS 3.4, these existing custom suffix patterns will be carried over and accessible here. 
You will also find a DOI menu link on your left menu panel. This menu tab replaces the Crossref and Datasite Export Registration Plugin pages previously found under Tools. The DOI's management page replaces the individual DOI assignment previously done within the Manuscripts Publication tab and Article Status tab in the Crossref XML Export plugin. Depending on your configuration, you will either see the automatically assigned DOI or the option to manually assign. If you are assigning DOIs to articles and issues, you will find a separate tab for each. The new DOI management page also includes bulk actions, including the option to select all and subsequently take various actions. You will also find a handy filter that includes a glossary for the registration statuses. There have been a number of improvements to the statistics on OJS. Within the articles report, there is an additional filter for issues. OJS 3.4 gives users the option to download articles, issues, and journals report. The downloadable articles report now includes publication dates of the articles. The report and PKP usage statistics previously available under Custom Report Generator have been replaced with the option to download within the graphical statistics pages. Support for Counter 5 release usage statistics has also been added for OJS, OMP, and OPS. Various data collection configurations have also been added to the administration site settings. As of August 2023, institutional statistics are only available through the Counter 5 Sushi interface. The Sushi interface is available only on the journal level. We also plan to implement the download of a tab-separated values report, which will then enable users to use the user interface to receive these reports. For updates on this feature, please refer to our GitHub. For more technical information on the statistics changes in OJS 3.4, we invite you to view the development update from December 2022 linked in this video. The features and improvements highlighted in this video are only a few you'll find in OJS 3.4. Please visit the OJS demo site to try these features and learn more about them through our Learning OJS Guide. To download or upgrade your journal to OJS 3.4, please visit the PKP website for more information.